We've got our left to hear. The D-Train, Dontro Willis, Three that's days. right, 20 game winner. Train to explain to us how has Yelich had so much success against Kershaw? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he throws the most uh, first pitch strikes in all of baseball, one of the top in that, in that category. Christian Yelich has formulated a simple but effective game plan going against him, and that's looking for the ball early and often out over the plate. As you can see, a fastball, not a bad fastball, at 90 miles an hour, he hits the pitch where his pitch goes in the big man land like you three used to do. And this is what more impressive. This is a slider that's missed. It's down in the zone, but it's still able for Christian to get his arms extended and put a high leverage swing again early in the count. What that does is it eliminates uh, Kershaw to get to that big whooper duper breaking ball and now attack the pitches that he wants to handle down in the zone. And that's why he's had the most success against him early in the count. Well, we're talking about velocity, right? I mean, Kershaw right now had pretty much the same velocity that you guys had, similar. Yeah. So how would you pitch him tonight? Well, like I said last week, it's a little humid up there in Milwaukee, and one might get away from you. But, no, all jokes aside, you have to make him conscious and in going inside. The few at-bats that Kershaw had success, he pounded the ball, especially the four-seam fastball, on his belt, make him move his feet, throw the bigger breaking ball early in the count mm. to change his eye level. When he was getting beat, you saw those bitches were all on the same mm. level. So you want to change the eye level. And, and you want, like A-Rod talked about, you can't be predictable, especially to the power lineup. This is how these guys made a lot of money. You see Big Poppy's watch right there. <laughs> a lot of money on guys being predictable out there. So move his feet, make him uncomfortable, but make him honor the fastball in. All right, look, Yelich has been a very good player in this league, but he, he, he went up here. Mm. Now he's MVP type player, right? So how did he do it? And you brought a good point. You said he kind of reminds you of one Robinson Cano. Robinson Cano. They, these two guys, they look the same when they swing the bat. I mean, if you look at them, they had that little delay in the strike zone. That means their swing stay longer on top of the play. So that's, that's what allowed them to drive the ball everywhere. So if you look at this guy, this guy, they're not looping. They, they, they use their top hand. They keep their hands close to their body. So that allowed them to Try the ball everywhere. That's what I like about both of them swing. I mean, that's a great example there with Robinson Cano. I played with him. I saw him firsthand. Here's a guy that can handle every pitch, hits line to line, hits average, hits good pitching, and he's one of the rare breeds, KB, that he can actually hit the fastball up. He stays on top of it. And don't forget, he's also playing in one of the best hitters' parks. Mm -hmm. To me, he's become the best hitter in the National League. And I do believe that ballpark has made him elite within one mm -hmm. year. He can use the whole field. But I look at this guy, he's one of the handful of guys in the baseball that can be slump-proof because of his speed. Mm. He's one of the fastest guys in the league. When he's not swinging well, he can hit a four-hopper to the shortstop, beat it out. And when you, and, and when you can do that consistently, you're slump-proof. And this guy, amazing. He should be the National League MVP. He won it last week of the season. Hats off to Christian Yellers because this guy probably is the most improved player in baseball mm. this year. I think that's a great point because he had a career high 22 steals this year, too. So he gets on, he steals, he does it all. Christian Yellers.